trying to get my life together before I went live. But here I am, I made it. and trying to turn up my light here. How we doing, friends? Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. All right, I'm gonna try to get this shared. I'm always struggling with this, so bear with me, please. Hello. Happy Wednesday. What are we up to, friends? All right, so let's see if I can share this. Hello. All right. Hello. Got a little music going because I need some inspo for the day. What are we up to? Hello. Hello, hello. All right, here we go. Hello, friends. How we doing? Happy Wednesday. Um, okay, I think I got it. Hey, Stephanie, how are you doing? Happy Wednesday. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Boo. Sorry, I'm a little late. Uh, I was trying to get everything together. I got the kids down for a nap a little bit late, so struggle bus today. Hey, Andrea, how are we doing? Thanks, Boo. Thanks for watching. I, I think I shared this properly, so we're just going to kind of wing it and jump into it because I have a look that might take a little while today. <laughs> um, so we're kind of going for like date night vibes today, like a fall date night. However, I haven't been on a date since June. So if anyone knows my husband, let him know we need to go on a date. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, I have an inspo picture that my friend sent me and I will do a side by side later of what the inspiration looked like and what I'm doing. Um, but before we start, um, I have a friend who sent me these empowering questions for women. Look at those curls. I know I just did these really quickly before I hopped on just to kind of have myself somewhat together, but we'll see what happens. So I will have these empowering questions and when I go on live, I want to start doing, um, a question each time I go on live and I'm going to ask you guys these questions and I want you to answer them. Um, so this first one says, what if everything is as it should be? How would that make me feel? Hey, Sarah. So if everything is as it should be, meaning the world and everything is happening because it should be, how does that make you feel? Drop a comment. Let me know if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay and answer this question. Let me know what you think. What if everything is as it should be? How would that make me feel? How would that make you feel? Let me know. Hey, Sarah, thank you for watching. All right, we're just getting into it right now. It might take a little while today. We have kind of a glam look going. Um, I'm doing kind of a fall vibes, fall date night look. Um, I'm wearing this shirt. It might look a little crazy right now because my hair and makeup and everything don't match but so this is my shirt it's kind of like a frilly i don't know a cute fall date night shirt so stable that's how you feel okay nicole that's a good answer that's a good answer anybody else have a an answer to that question if everything is as it should be how does that make me feel i'm going to start asking a question they're called um empowering questions. I'm going to start doing those each time I go live. All right, so we're going to start off with our face primer. I've already um, washed and moisturized my face. I like to make sure I do a good skincare routine morning and night. Um, if you're hopping on, say hi. Let me know you're here. Hey, Jennifer. How are you, girl? 
All right, so I'm using the VFX primer. I've been using this a lot lately. I really like how it just smooths out my face and gets it ready for my makeup. Hey, Joe. Hey, boo. She just went live and did an awesome look. It was so cute. Thanks for all the hearts, boo. So Joe is the one who sent me the inspo picture for the look today. You see my shirt, girl? I'll take pictures later so you can kind of see it better. Um, but yeah, it's just this cute little fall top. Um, I'm kind of going with um, fall date night vibes. Although I have not been on a date since June. Tell my husband he needs to take me on a date. Not that we can really like do a lot, but I don't know. A picnic? You can take me for a walk? Something? Come on, bro. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's where we're at. So I'm going to let that kind of sit in for a little bit. I like to let it um, kind of simmer, I guess is the word, for two minutes. Um, just to kind of um, soak into the skin and do its magic. Um, and then I'm going to, in the meantime, I'm going to do my brows. What are you guys up to today? So Joe, you're just hopping on. I'm going to start doing an empowering question. I have these questions that I, um, that I got from a friend every time I go live. And today's question is called empowering questions. Today's question is, is if everything is as it should be, how does that make me feel? Meaning, like, if everything in life, if everything in the world is going on as it should be, how do you feel about that? So, I'm going to start off with my brows. I like to use this brush. It has, like, an angled end on one side and then a spoolie on the other. And I brush out my brows first, just to kind of get getting them tamed and going the right way. You neither? You haven't been on a date for a while? <laughs> did you tag him Nicole that's funny um okay so I'm using my eyebrow um dark brown oh wait that's my eye primer just kidding my um primer I mean my I can't talk today my pomade you feel way too much girl I'm here to we can get deep let's go there think about it and get back to me all right, so I like to get it on the brush. Hey, Holly, how are you, boo? All right, and then I start kind of right here and draw a little line here, and then we're going to brush that up later. But I like to line kind of just following the um, natural shape of my brow. I like the shape of my brow, so I kind of just follow that and then fill it in. But if you like, um, you can always just create your own shape really so I just follow along the top and the bottom hey everyone thanks for hopping on say hello so I know you're here give you a shout out say hey um, and then I do the same thing for this side okay so I have this shirt on just because it's like going with my theme of fall vibes date night but you guys <laughs> Every time, I swear, every time I go live, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so hot. And maybe it's because I'm nervous and I'm always just like, my heart is racing and I get all sweaty and worried. But we're going to make it work. Yes, Joe, I agree. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Just kind of roll with the punches. I hear you. Hello, everyone. Hello, if you're catching the replay, hashtag replay and let me know you're here. Um, I'm doing an empowering question every time I go live now. And today's question was, if everything is as it should be, how does that make you feel? And honestly, to me, I feel like, I feel like we are given things in life that challenge us and that sometimes are quite hard for us to deal with. But when we look back on them later in life, we appreciate that we went through those hard times. Even like this year, 2020, is a crazy year for everyone. I feel like it's really making us all appreciate what we have and be grateful for the little things in life. And also, hey Hannah, and also um, push ourselves and get out of our comfort zones. And I am really grateful for that because... For a long time, I was kind of stagnant in my life and just um, kind of getting by and um, 
not pushing myself to be and do the things that I wanted to do. Let's sprinkle the love, ladies. Yes, show me, show me love. Give me hearts. All right, so I'm just kind of going over that lightly then with the rest of whatever's left on my brush and just kind of brushing that in here. Sometimes I get a little chatty and I don't always like go over the exact steps, but if you have any questions about anything that I'm doing, let me know. Yes, Nicole, very true, right? All right, so now what I'm going to do is just go in with a little bit of this brow um, powder. I use the dark brown. And in my opinion, this kind of helps set it too, so it lasts all day long. Yes, I'm trying to speak life into people here. I mean, I'm not a professional when it comes to much of anything. <laughs> all, I can, all I can speak on is like my own personal experiences and what is near and dear to my heart and what I feel um, makes sense. And if something that I say resonates with you, I, I hope it does. And you know, can get you through your day or make you feel good. All right, so there's our brows. I like to do kind of quick and easy lately. I don't do anything too crazy. Um, I used to spend so much time. Hey, Ashley. I used to spend so much time on my brows because I wanted them to be perfect and they had to be twins. I'm a twin, if you didn't know that. But my eyebrows don't need to be twins, okay? Because ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> okay, okay, Jill. Um, so I'm going to use my concealer and go over those just a little bit to um, clean them up a little bit. Okay, Joe, no worries. I'll be here. You know where to find me. <laughs> and so I just go under here. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the hearts. What are you guys up to today? Thank you for watching. We might be here for a while if you're in it for the long haul. Because I'm doing like a glam um, kind of date night fall date night look um my friend joe sent me an inspo pic of what to do she's the one who sent she's sending me all my looks lately which i appreciate because i need some inspiration if any of you have any looks that you want me to do send me a picture thank you nicole yeah i think the reason one of the reasons why i feel like my brows have been somewhat decent like i don't pluck them or i don't get them waxed very often is i just I haven't over plucked them ever. I kind of just let them do their thing and then I just fill them in how I, you know, as need be, but I don't get them waxed or I don't get them like done very often. And I honestly think that's helped me along the years. So yeah, there's my brows. Now we're gonna go in with our eyeshadow primer. Holly, I know, that's what I said. Like I haven't been on a date since June for our anniversary, which was really fun. I think that I did a good job. Um, I, if you guys are new to following me, um, my husband and I celebrated four years of marriage this year. I'm taking this eye primer and um, a little flat brush here and I'm gonna just use that to go on my eyes. But, um, so it was kind of a surprise this year. Normally we'll kind of plan it together. Um, one year we like went zip lining and one year we went and saw the uh, John Legend concert. If you know me, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. We were so close to the front. I, I was in love. I love John Legend. Anyway, um, but this year, obviously COVID, you almost cried when? When we went zip lining or when? Um, so this year with COVID, it was kind of hard to do much of anything. And we've been quarantined, we're still quarantined. Um, but I, hey Jill, thanks for coming back. <laughs> so this year, um, I'm very lightly putting this on. I keep going back in, but that's just to make sure I haven't, I'm just covering it. I'm very, I'm doing this very lightly. You don't need to like gob it on. Um, but this year we, so I, I totally, I told them, okay, it's a surprise. You're not gonna know what we're doing. Um, so I literally, blindfolded him from the moment we left the house and this was like took about an hour or so I had already like called in ahead of time to like pick up some food when you when I surprised Todd you cried oh my gosh Nicole you're such a you're such a cheese ball and I love you <laughs> um but anyway so I um I ordered I picked up like some of our favorite food like I you know had already called it in and everything and then um 
I, I thought this was so fun. And I, um, so I picked that up. He's still sitting in the car waiting with the blindfold on. Hopefully nobody like walked by the car like, uh, what's up with this guy? And then we got to this park. I found this park, um, which I actually go to almost at, like once a week now. Um, cause it's so beautiful. That's where I went this morning. It's secluded and there's like never anybody there. And there's like a little playground too that my kids can play on because there's no parks really around here anymore that they can go to without there being other kids or a lot of people around. So, um, long story short, I like had him wait in the car and I like set up the table. I did a, um, like a tablecloth and these little like fake candles were burning. And then I like had dishware and everything and like set up the table all nice. And then I was playing, um, our song, John Legend, um, and like had him come up and he was watching it and it was just, it was really cute. He, he kind of teared up a little bit. So pat, pat on the back for me. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for hopping on. So now I'm going to use this Jaclyn Hill palette. And um, I'm going to... Thanks, Nicole. I try. I am not the best, but I... I don't know. I try to be somewhat creative and I like to think of little thoughtful things that will make other people happy. And um, I don't know. I just like to be thoughtful and think of others, you know. Anyway, long story short, I need a date night. <laughs> okay, so... We're going to start off with a little bit of a brownish -y shade in the crease here because we're going with a red and like a blue and it's going to look kind of crazy at first, but we're going to, we're going to make it happen. Oh my gosh, Holly, I can't believe you guys have been married that long. Uh, 10 years. Wow. Time just flies. I remember when you guys just kind of eloped and didn't tell anybody and it was just really cute. So yeah. Let me know what you guys are up to today. If you're just hopping on, say hi. Um, I was letting everyone know earlier. Hey, Jasmine. Hey, girl. Okay, I'm super nervous. Hey, Lacey. I, I love Jaclyn Hill, too. Um, so I'm kind of nervous for this look because I have no idea how it's going to turn out. And we're just going to have to be along for the ride with each other. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys, I am not a professional makeup artist whatsoever. I just kind of wing it, literally. Um, so we'll see what happens. But this is kind of like a fall date look. Yes, yeah, Sarah, I agree. How are you doing, by the way, Sarah? I know you were kind of in the hospital for a while. Is everything back to normal? Are you doing okay? All right, so here we go. I'm just doing this kind of brown color for um, somewhat of a transition shade. And then we're going to go in with some red. It's going to look crazy for a while, but we're going to make it happen. Oh my gosh, Joe, how are you? What are, what's going on with this broken leg? How did that even happen? I feel like I'm surprised I have never broken a leg because <laughs> your girl's clumsy. Hey, Danielle, you guys, my cousins are on with me. We're having a little cousin party virtually. Hey. Okay, so now we're going to go in with this red shade, and I'm a little nervous about it, so let's kind of go slow and work our way up. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go in with this, I don't know if you can see it, but this shade right here. Yes, show me some love, guys. Say hey. Okay, I kind of have to look in the mirror behind my camera a little bit, but because it's hard to somewhat do this while looking in the cam the phone camera. So I'm just kind of going a little bit over that brown and we're going to blend everything together. And listen, my friend Joe says, trust the process because you fell down the stairs. Oh my God. <laughs> Nicole, where are you? We have a funny story about me falling down the stairs. And I will tell you that in a second. But anyway, trust the process here because it does look crazy for a while and then it will get better. But... You kind of have to build it and like do layers and blend. So I'm just kind of packing this on first to get the colors and then we'll blend it and make it look better. So <laughs> you fell down the stairs. Oh my gosh. So Nicole is on here, you guys, my best friend. And this, <laughs> I will probably never forget this. We used to like literally um, go to go to this dance club every weekend, like religiously. When I say every weekend, I mean every Friday and Saturday. 
It's called Loring Pasta Bar. And we get our like little Latin salsa night on. <laughs> and so there used to be, you can't really go up on the second floor anymore, but there used to be this balcony that you could go upstairs on the second floor. And, you know, we would kind of like, we felt like we kind of ran the place. We were there every weekend, like everybody knew us, like, you know, so we're all cute in our little club outfits and whatever. We go up the stairs. Mind you, I do not drink at all. I don't drink alcohol whatsoever. And so this is just my pure crazy idiotness. I don't know. And so we are um, upstairs. We're coming, then we're going downstairs. She's ahead of me. Nicole's walking down the stairs ahead of me. Mind you, she's quite a bit taller than me. And I literally trip and like smack her in the back of the head. And it was, I don't remember if I fell or if she just caught me, but I will never forget that because, so now I'm just using, <laughs> now I'm just using like a, um, a blending, fluffy blending brush. And we're going to kind of just fluff that together. I will never forget that. That was hilarious. In the middle of the club, looking all cute, falling down the stairs. Good times, good times. Oh, man. I probably have a lot of those embarrassing moments. So yeah, you see how we're kind of blending that together now? It's not looking as crazy. You want to kind of diffuse it and not have a bunch of harsh lines. Oh my god, you guys, we, I can't believe we used to, like, go out like that. I mean, I, trust me, now that I've been quarantined, I miss, like, hey, Tori, hey, boo. I, great times, yes. I miss going out and, like, just getting dressed up and having places to go and, I mean, I'm dressed up for a date night and I'm not going on a date night, but whatever. It's okay. Thanks for the hearts, guys. Okay. So now this is kind of blended out and we're just going to leave it at that for now because we're going to go over it with this dark blue. Um, but yeah, I miss getting dressed up and going dancing. You guys, I love to go dancing. I see it's like my heart. And if you know me, you know, like something about Latin music and bachata, merengue, reggaeton, like is my heart, literally my heart. And I miss going dancing. I want to, I want to get my groove on. Yes. Girls night is the best. So sometimes when I do like a lid color, I'll cut the crease, but because the color I'm putting on top of here is darker, I don't know if I'm going to. What do you think? Yes. I love getting dolled up and I have nowhere to go. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't think I'm going to cut the crease. Nicole, bachata is my heart. And you are my dance partner, and you're a thousand and two thousand and three thousand miles away. I want to dance with somebody. Me too, Joe. I hear you. Okay, I'm trying to find. I know, I know. I love dancing, you guys. It's just, I miss, I miss it. But we'll get back to reality soon, I hope. Anyway. That's enough of that. So now we're going to go in. I'm going to try to use, now I'm using the James Charles palette. And I'm going to use this dark blue here. Um, I'm going to use this one first and then maybe go over with a little bit of a shimmer color. Yeah, I don't need to cut the crease. I didn't think so. So I'm going to just pack this onto the lid. And like I said, it's going to look crazy first. But... Trust the process, okay? I'm not going to use that brush, though, because it had something on it. Hey, John. You guys, my brother's watching. My cousins are watching. It's a whole family affair. Okay. I'm not swiping this on. I'm just tapping it because I don't want it to, like, lose the color and the pigment. What are you guys up to? Sorry, when I do, and this does have fallout. This is another reason why, this is another reason why I do like my um, face after I do my eyeshadow. Because if there's any fallout, I can just clean it up later. Yes, it's a whole family affair. I 
I'm hoping this look comes together, you guys. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it here. But I do like these colors together, and then we will blend it out. Just got, a back, got back from a walk. That sounds fun. What was the name of the palette, Nicole? It's the James Charles palette from Morphe. It has all these colors here. I love this palette. It's really like universal and it has a bunch of colors and I think it's like under $40, I wanna say. Okay, so yeah, I'm just pa packing this on kind of to my lid here and winging it out a little bit. John said he's trying to dance, what's up? <laughs> oh man, we need to have a dance party. My mom likes to dance too. When COVID it, when COVID is over, you guys are all invited to come over and have a dance party. We'll have a game night and a dance party. Okay, so this is looking a little crazy right now, but we're gonna blend it out a little bit. Let's go, yes, Danielle, and our kids need to get together. This is no joke. We live in the same town, well, well the same state at least. And we need to get our kids together because they're the same age, girl. Dance video chat? Oh my gosh, should we do that tonight? Are we doing a Zoom call? We should do a, a, a dance Zoom. Zoom, Zumba. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cracked myself up. Okay, so we're looking real crazy right now. Just bear with me, please. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so one time, mind you, my brother doesn't, my brother's been in the Navy. You, I know I look crazy, okay? I can see it, but just hang out with me, okay? It'll get better. So, <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I literally look crazy. But anyway, my brother came dancing with me and Nicole one time, Nicole and I, and it was hilarious. Oh God, he cracks me up. When we're all together, it's just a good time. Nicole, you need to come visit. Yeah, the process is a little bit crazy, but it's gonna get us there. I promise, okay? All right, I'm gonna try to blend out a little bit and see how that looks. Just like the edges here, just so it's not like harsh lines. And then we might have to move on and just kind of come back later and fix some stuff. What are you guys up to? How was your walk, Tori, with the kid, with, with Asher? I was going to say with the kids. You only have one. I'm not trying to rush you, girl. <laughs> John Robot Dance. John is a good dancer. Hey, Ashley. Hey, girl. Yes, I'm live and looking real crazy right now, but we're going to get it together. It will all come together. Trust the process. <laughs> Cleaning your brushes. I need to clean my brushes more often. I have a problem. I like literally won't wash them until it's like a disaster. Okay. So I'm just going to add a little um, darker blue here just to, yes, it's such a beautiful day here today. I'm glad that I got the kids out this morning. We went kind of early. We had the plumber come um, this morning and fix our kitchen sink. And so I'm glad that we are out during that time. And um, yeah, we just got the kids out and they loved it. I went for a good walk and then we went on the playground. I know, Sarah, me too. I hate. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you, Hannah. Thank you so much. I am trying my best, but you never know. I'm just literally, like I said, I'm winging it. I'm really terrible at washing my brushes. Like, it's, it's kind of gross. Like, girl, you need to get your life together and wash those things because it's gross. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to just use a little bit of eyeliner. Again, I am not good at eyeliner. Please don't judge. 
Um, and I know I shouldn't be pulling my eye like this when I do it, but it's happening. So just get over it. <laughs> um, I'm not going to do a full on wing really because I just want to put a little bit of a line there. So when I put my um, lashes on later, it will kind of go together. <clears throat> and like I said, this will come together. I promise it always does. I don't know how, but it does. Nicole, you're not going to join a Zoom? No, every Wednesday, my team, we do like a Zoom call. And so I was joking that like, oh, we can do a Zumba. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry, I need to like really focus when I do this because if I don't, it'll be like, rawr, rawr, rawr. and we don't need that. because. <laughs> I mean, it'd be funny, but we don't need that. Cue the Jeopardy music. Yes. Okay. I think that's going to be good enough for now. And then we'll clean it up a little bit and figure it out. Like I said, we're just winging it. Hey, boo. How we doing? Okay. So now we're going to go to our foundation. And I'm going to mix the Stay Matte and the CC Cream, which is what I've been doing lately. I just really like the finish of it. How does it go again? The Jeopardy music? Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was cracking up last night. I, I literally was singing that to myself. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to mix um, those two together. And I am using the lighter shade today, the light to medium CC cream, because my tan is fading a little bit. And I'm just going to blend those two together. Like I said, I already put on my primer. I washed my um, washed and moisturized my face earlier. And you know what? It's okay if your face looks a little bit crazy, if it looks a little bit lighter than your neck or whatever, we can blend it and we can make it work. That's what adding highlighter and contour is for and bronzer and all of that. It all comes together in the end. I look like have any of you seen the Joker? That's what I look like right now. I'm just getting ready for Halloween, I guess. <laughs> it will it will all come together, I promise. And even if it doesn't, like say it doesn't turn out the way I wanted it to, that's okay. It's just makeup. It comes off. You can do it over again or you can, you know, it's okay to try new things. If it wasn't what you expected, if it didn't turn out how you like, that's okay. We're all human. All right, so I'm bringing this over and onto my ear because I like to make sure that my ear is matching my the rest of my body. And then I bring it down on my neck too. My skin color is always kind of evolving and changing because sometimes I go tanning and sometimes I... Thank you, girl. I did those in like a minute flat. My eyebrows, they didn't take me very long today. Thank you. Okay. So now I'm just kind of going over this. We're looking a little bit better. It's kind of getting cleaned up here. Hi, guys. Thanks for hopping on. I know I look crazy right now, but it will all come together. I promise. Okay. So there we go. I just want to make sure I'm blending it all together. And most of this, it, it should be tapping motions and not like dragging. Because you want to make sure you're um, kind of melting the foundation into the skin and not just like moving it around. You want it to look even and smooth. All right. So we're looking a little better. Hey, Kate. Thanks for watching. What are you up to today? I don't know if any of you guys are new watching watching here, but I'm going to start doing um, an empowering question each time I go live. And today's question is, if everything is as it should be, how does that make you feel? So like if everything in the world that's going on right now is as it should be, how does that like, how does that make you feel? What do you feel about that? I know we're getting pretty deep. Let me know what you think. Do I always do my eyes first? Not always, but the majority of the time, yes, because um, if there is any fallout like you see here, that won't um, mess up my 
base. And then also, you know, I can just kind of clean it up better later on as opposed to having it all fall out on my full foundation, contour, highlight, and all that stuff. Um, if I do more of a natural look, I can um, do my eyes after, but I just kind of prefer doing it this way. Um, but yeah, to each their own, I guess. Um, so now I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is the Light Ivory. And I go under my eyes. And this will help clean it up too. And get it um, not looking so crazy. I go on my chin. I really like the consistency of this concealer because it's really easy to blend. And I feel like... It's not super thick where like when you put it on, you're like, oh my gosh, that's going to take forever to blend out or it's not, you know what I mean? Like it's not too thick and cakey. I like more of a cream um, contour for under my foundation. Yeah, I did my eyeshadows, my eyeshadow first. Oops. Hey, Todd, my husband's on here. Probably, Nicole, did you tag him? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Brianse, I'll get back to you and let you know. Um, I'll message you and we can talk about it. Because I can't see your full comment right now. Um, so anyway, I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> um, hey, babe. My husband is... Downstairs, taking a little break. He's done with work for the day. He's been able to work from home, which is awesome. And now I work from home, which is one of the main reasons why I first joined this company is because I was looking for ways to be able to work from home. And um, I came across this company. And honestly, I've always had a passion for uh, makeup. I've always loved it and wanted to dabble in it professionally I guess and I never really knew um kind of what to do I never knew like there were some companies that I kind of followed that I was thinking about joining and then I came across Tori who's my sponsor and I was like kind of watching her for a few days and watching her YouTube videos and I was like you know what I really like her vibe and I really like what she has to say about this company and then when I contacted her she was so um, just like overwhelmingly welcoming and like answering all my questions. You see how that the, the um, concealer literally cleaned up everything and it's coming together. I told you it would come together. Um, so yeah, she was just like really open and answered all my questions and it made me feel really comfortable and welcome. And honestly, and honestly like, that put my mind at ease and I literally was like, okay, I'm joining because of her. And I feel like her and I are like so similar in that way because I always want to make people feel like welcome and comfortable and like answering their questions. And I haven't felt that way really at other jobs before. Um, and I'm do what I'm doing now doesn't even feel like a job. I'm literally doing what I love to do and getting a discount. I'm getting 50% off everything I buy. And I make money off of everything that I sell. So what more would you want? <laughs> um, on top of the fact that I literally am making so many amazing friends. Like this sisterhood is unbelievable. These women help support one another and cheer you on on your low days. And I'm really, I'm just really happy. So if any of you have questions or like want to know more about that, let me know. But we're going to continue with our look now, and I'm going to do my contour. Yes, our discount is amazing, you guys. I just put in a bulk order yesterday, and I'm not going to tell you how much I spent, but 50% off of everything. Cosmetics, skincare, men's line, baby care, house cleaning supplies. Hey, hey! Yes, girl. I will show you what I use for my setting powder and my um, setting spray. I will show you in one minute when I'm done doing my contour. I love it. 
um because holly you know me like even before this like i use a lot of like higher end products like i was always using sorry that's my drawer, my drawer closing i have the laura mercier setting powder and i have like the jaclyn hills setting powders and i have all these other higher end um ones that i've tried but I keep going back to my pharmacy makeup. And I was a little bit nervous, honestly, before I actually got my products from pharmacy. I'm like, okay, I signed up. Um, am I going to actually like this stuff because I have to sell? I mean, I don't have to sell it. But I, I literally use it every single day because the quality is amazing. This is not cheap stuff. The price is affordable, yes. But the, the quality of the makeup is literally top notch. Like... I'm I'm super happy with everything I've tried. Um so yeah. I, I just really like everything. This is a a U um a UK company, so their standards for makeup is a lot different than the standards that we have in the United States. Like the United States um doesn't ban as many products. Meaning they put in like more ingredients in their makeup that is not as good for you. Whereas like in the UK, they ban certain products that are not good for your skin and not good for your body. So I don't feel bad about using these products and you know, I feel safe about it. Urban Decay All Nighter. Yes, I've used that before. And honestly, I haven't loved the Urban Decay All Nighter. I don't know, something about it, I just feel like, although I know, like, that's like a cult favorite. Um, I really do like our Time Locker Spray. I feel like it does the job, and it's, like, really light and refreshing. Like, it doesn't feel like it leaves, like, a sticky or weird feeling on the skin. So, that's my thoughts on that. And it's, like, I, mean, I can look up the price for you and let you know, but it's really affordable. All of our products are affordable, and then I don't feel bad about, like, trying everything out. <laughs> you love the Zen Mascara, Nicole? Yes, so do I. I've been using it every day, and I love it. I did just order, like, all of our mascaras just because I want to do kind of, like, a side-by-side -side and show, like, the difference of what each one does. Um, but that Zen Mascara, like cannot be beat at nine, $8.90 $8 full price. So with my discount, and if you were to sign up, you get it for like under four bucks, five bucks. Like what? For a, a mascara that's bomb? Okay. Yes, please. <laughs> um, yeah. Let you know what? What am I letting you know? <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to do my um, powder. This is the powder that I've been using. I will say... We do have a translucent powder. Um, let me see if I can find it. And the translucent powder that we have, I, it's okay in my opinion, but I don't love it because I do have a little bit of drier skin. And so I feel like if you have like an oily skin, it would be great. But for me, my skin is a little drier. So I've been using this BB powder. This is the light color. And um, I've been using that to set and it's so smooth. And so I just use that under my eyes and in the areas that I um, highlighted. And it's just really smooth. Yes, I'll do like a picture comparison post of the mascaras. But I really, I do like that Zen mascara. And I don't know if any of you um, follow me on what social media platforms, but I did post this yesterday. I am doing like um, fall bundles now. I just... Um, released those yesterday so i have three bundles um one is called the spice girl that is a teen bundle although i mean anybody can buy it <laughs> but that is um that includes a lip gloss a zen mascara a face mask and a body spray and that is fifty dollars and then that includes um tax and shipping um, and then I have the hashtag mom goals bundle because um, you don't need to put this much powder. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm talking and putting it on and, you know, you get in the groove, whatever. <laughs> um, and then I use this sun kiss bronzer over my contour. I like to layer it. It just gives it, I feel like, more dimension. 
So then I have a hashtag mom goals bundle, um, which has a liquid lip liner or eyeliner, sorry, liquid eyeliner, mascara, um, a blush, this bronzer, and a mascara, I believe, and that is $75, and that's sh um, with shipping and tax included. And then I have a lumberjack pack, and that is for the fellas, because we do have a men's line. And that has a um, shaving cream, a uh, face, I don't remember, <laughs> there's a few things. Um, I know it has the um, hair putty, like the matte hair wax, which my husband is obsessed with. And we have the beard oil in there and um, the aftershave lotion and um, one other thing. And that is $65, I believe, or 60 I don't remember. It's all on my site. This is the Sun Kiss Bronzer. Um, full price, this is 20 bucks, but you can get it for $10. If you sign up on my site for $20, you get literally everything for 50% off. And there's no like obligation to sell anything. Of course you can if you want. There's no pressure. Um because you do but you do get 50% commission on everything that you sell. Um which is amazing because mama needs some extra money right now. Hello. I'm not I mean I'm working from home now. So and with kids being home from school, our kids do not go to school right now. Homeschool is starting next week. Uh wish us luck. <laughs> Yes, this is the pharmacy bronzer, girl. Everything I'm using is pharmacy except for that eyeshadow. Um, so, yeah. If you guys have any questions about those bundles, you can let me know. You can, like, hashtag, um, hashtag Spice Girl for the teen bundle, hashtag Mom Goals for the Mom Goals bundle, or hashtag Lumberjack Pack if you're wanting to do, like, the guys bundle. We do have holidays coming up. I mean, it's September. But I like to think in advance, especially since I don't have a bunch of, like, extra spending money this year. Like I said, I have not been working my regular job since March. And so I like to think about gifts in advance. Um, no. Well, so my stepson is doing virtual learning. Um, he goes, he's uh, in 10th grade. And so he's doing virtual learning, but then... My three-year-old, I'm going to start kind of doing homeschool with him. Um, we have, like, some booklets and stuff that I got that I want to go over with him. So that's that story. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, so that starts next week. I'm going to use a big fluffy brush here to kind of blend this out. Yes, I love this bronzer too, Sarah. It just literally is the perfect shade, and it warms. it just really warms up the skin. It's not like too light or too dark. I feel like it's just perfect. So then, yeah, I just like to blend this all together um, just to make sure there's not any harsh lines and everything is blended well. And then we'll move on. All right, there's that. Now we'll do some blush. So I'm going to go for a little bit more of like a bronzy look today. So I'm going to use my um, favorite blush powder right now. This is the Terracotta Blush Powder number 16. It's kind of like a, it reminds me of like a baked bronzer kind of or a baked blush. And it's just kind of really glowy and pretty. Can you see that? And I like to go with my blush right above my bronzer. And it just adds like a, that has a little shimmer to it. It's more of like a bronzy color. The blushes that are included in my um, bundle, I will show you if I can find it here. Let's see. I don't know if I can find it now. Of course not. <laughs> um, but the blushes that are included are like the little tender blushes. They're like this size, but they're, um, I have like a bunch of the colors coming. Yes, I love this terracotta blush. Tori, yes. This is, I got this because of you, girl. You told me to get it and I got it. So I like to put blush here above my bronzer, going up and going up towards the temple. And then I put some a little bit on my chin there, a little on my nose, and then across the forehead. So 
So that is that, and now I'm going to do some highlight. Which highlight do I want to use? There's so many choices. Oh, I'm going to use the highlighter palette because I'm obsessed with this lately. I just had a girl order this from me, and she is super happy about it. Um, all right, so this is my favorite um, highlighter brush. I used to use one of those fan brushes, but I just... This is a Morphe R36. I just really like how this is like tapered. It's kind of a big tapered brush. So this is our highlighter pa palette. Sorry, it's a little bit messy because I use it like every day. So there's like this iridescent pink color, like a um, yellowish color, and then like a bronzy. And lately I've been using this bronzy color and I'm obsessed with it. So I go right here. And a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. You see how pretty that is? Just like glowy and bronze. So pretty. And then on my nose. And I go a little bit here on my nose. And then across the forehead. And you want to kind of move your head and see where the light hits it. And that's where you want to bronze. Or highlight, I'm sorry. Just like that. Okay, and then I will use the same color to do my brow bone and then my inner corner here. And then we'll do lashes. I was going to do false lashes, but you know what? <laughs> After last time's live, oh my gosh, you guys, if you missed it. <laughs> you know what? I don't even care because it's real life. Like, I'm not good at doing lashes. I literally had, <laughs> I put this one on okay. But then when I was trying to put this one on, it was like hanging down on my cheek. Good times. <laughs> so now I'm going to put a little of that bronzer here on my uh, brow bone and I just like to do a highlight there because I feel like it makes the eyebrow lift a little bit and also just give it a little extra pop. You missed what? <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Here we go. You missed what? Oh, my live yesterday? You can catch the replay. I have it up on my page. It was, you guys, it was a hot mess. Yeah, I am not good at doing lashes, you guys. It is something I'm practicing, and we are getting lashes soon with pharmacy, and I'm just super excited because that's going to take us to the next level. If you're wanting to join pharmacy, now is the time because we have so many amazing products coming that like it's gonna be next level like this company is going to explode like i said we've only been in the u.s for um a year a little over a year and so we're already growing really big we, we're going into canada next year and mexico so now is the time <laughs> okay so now i'm gonna do you can only do one lash you guys see i have a problem like even with eyeliner, I swear one eye turns out good and I'm like, okay, that was easy. Now I can do the next one. And the next one is just a hot mess. I was telling my friend, um, oh, I was on the, the phone with you, Nicole, the other day when I was doing um, my pink, pink look. This was last Wednesday. I was doing a pink look and I literally had all this makeup on. It was looking real great. And then I was like, okay, girl, I got to call you back because I got to finish this video. And then once I hit that liner... I messed up the entire look and had to take it entirely off. All of it had to come off. And I had to start over. And that took a long time. So I started my look at 3 and I wasn't done till almost 7 because of that dang liner. So that's my struggle. Struggle bus. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Oh, I forgot to put this on my inner uh, corner because I'm just blabbing away. I don't know what's going on. So again, I'm going to just use this um, same color, but I'm going to mix in a little bit of this yellow because the inner corner I want to really pop and be like, and you know what? I'm going to spray it so it can be extra. And I'm just using my time locker spray. When you spray it a little bit, it makes it, uh, I just feel like it makes it pop a little bit more. See how that inner corner Yes. Girl, I'm living on the struggle bus right with you. 
Hey, Meg, what are you up to today, girlfriend? You see how that pops? Okay. We making it work. We making it work. Okay. So now I'm going to do my mascara and then we'll do the lower lash line a little bit and then go to lips and then we'll be done because we don't need to be on here all day long. I mean, we can be if you want, but <laughs> okay. So my mascara, let's see if I can find it. I'm going to use my Zen mascara like always. I will um, be getting some new ones soon. Getting ready for bingo. Are you at Louie's right now? Say hey to everyone. Hopefully everyone is wearing their masks. <laughs> I'm good, girl. I'm good. My kids are napping, thankfully. We went to the park today and I wore them out. And now they're napping. So yeah, I'm just putting on my mascara here, guys. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, this is kind of like a glammy date night fall date night look and I have an extra special accessory to put on once this live once I'm done with the look and you'll see it in a minute thank you I've had these earrings for a long time and they kind of fall apart sometimes but I just put them back together I'm someone who likes to find cute stuff on a budget if you know me I'm all about finding a good deal so I think these earrings were maybe like $5. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I just put a couple of coats on. You don't need to put this many, but because I'm not wearing um, false false lashes with this look, I, I just want to make sure that my lashes are coated well. <laughs> yes, thanks, Meg. Yeah, say hi to everyone. I miss you guys. I mean life you know what i mean meg is um working bingo at the restaurant that i waitressed at for i was waitressing there for seven years and i'm just kind of on a leave of absence i guess and i'm doing um, makeup from home which is awesome but um yeah i mean with my family and our uh we're still quarantined so that is why i didn't go back yet and now i'm doing this so hopefully this takes off and we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, so that's my um, mascara. I'm going to kind of just let that dry down for a minute and then I'm going to curl my lashes. Um, but before I um, do that, I'm going to put a little bit of lower lash shadow. Look at the lashes, you guys. I feel like the look is coming together. Thank you, Meg. I appreciate it. I do miss you guys though. Good times, good times. I'll just yell bingo around seven o'clock and maybe you guys will hear me. Bingo! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this red underneath here. And this is kind of bringing the look together. Bingo! Everybody say bingo! Oops. I, I just put the wrong color on there, but you know what? Whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> what are we thinking of these colors, you guys? I'm actually liking how it's turning out. It does not look exactly like the picture, which I will do like a side-by-side -side again like I did the other day. But you know what? That's okay. It doesn't need to be... Perfect. That was inspiration, and this is real life. <laughs> um, because when you're on live, it's hard to, like, do an exact replica, in my opinion, because you're kind of under pressure. You got people watching you. Um, it's just kind of under the gun. Thank you. So, yeah, now I'm just adding a little bit more blue. And we're going to, I'll smoke it out a little bit more. But I'm just trying to bring those colors out a little bit more. Thank you, boo. Yeah, I'm liking how it's turning out. Thank you, Joe. I'm trying, girl. I'm trying. I am no, nowhere near perfect, but I'm trying to make it work. 
That's all we can do. Nobody is perfect, but as long as you have fun with it and you do your own thing, that is what really matters. You feel me? Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate all the love and support. You guys, I kind of stepped out of my comfort zone when it came to doing this whole makeup thing. It's been a passion of mine for a long time. And you know what? One day I was finally just like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I'm doing it. And I have days where I really doubt myself. And I have days where I'm like, oh my gosh, people probably think I'm so weird. People probably like don't like me. Or, you know, I'm not going to... I'm not going to really do big things when it comes to this and oh I, I can't do it but you know what I have to get over my fears I have to get over myself and just do it because I enjoy it this is like my me time this is my therapy time kind of getting on here and chatting with you guys and seeing how your day is going and just showing you kind of some tips and tricks that I like and that I use but it is not always easy I will tell you that much because the self-doubt is real. We are our own worst critics, I tell you that much. So that is pretty much it for the eyes. I'm just going to do a little bit more uh, mascara on the lower lash. Thank you, Joe. I really appreciate it, girl. Your love and support has meant so much. You have no idea. You have no idea. So now I'm just doing a little bit of lower lash mascara and I like to go sideways because I'm clumsy <laughs> and I don't want to like get it on my face but if I were to get it on my face I can just easily um get it off I let it dry and then I kind of um just scratch it off a little bit with my like a little spoolie or something thank you Nicole you have always you've been my day one since a one since day one for real You've been telling me to do this for years and years and years. You guys, she's been telling me to make a YouTube channel, do something. And I was always like, okay, yeah, maybe, I don't know. And she's like, no, you need to do it. And finally, years later, the only reason that really kicked me in the butt was COVID and quarantine. Here I am. And if you're not following me or subscribed to my channel on YouTube, please do so. It's Izzy Rock. I appreciate it. I only have a few videos on there so far, but there will be more to come. It is hard to film a YouTube video with children running around because when like when it's when you're live, it doesn't really matter because it's real life and it is what it is. But when you're doing like a YouTube video and you're trying to film and there's kids running around or yelling in the background, it's like I mean, you can kind of like um remove the background noise, but not totally. So <laughs> life 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 that's all I can say so now I'm gonna just try to comb out these lashes a little bit if I can find my little this is always the part where I can't find my brush I'm gonna use this for now hey junior thank you for watching I love you man you've been supporting me and I really appreciate it like for real you have no idea how much that means even just to like you guys he shared my business page the other day and like it just blew me away because just getting, thank you, Holly. I'm trying. Um, I'm a, I'm a real person, and I'm just like trying to keep it real with you guys. And um, I don't know. I've been getting messages from people like out of the blue, talking about like how I inspire them and how they really appreciate me like doing this. And I'm like shocked. Like I'm it it blows me away because it literally I was like crying yesterday one of my this woman messaged me who I haven't talked to in years and she just was like Izzy I really just want you to know like what you're doing really means a lot to people and you're so such an inspiration and I'm just like over here like in tears like are you serious like I just can't believe like I'm impacting people in that way because I just feel like little old me doing makeup and talking <laughs> but I'm just trying to be the best person that I can be and have fun with it and show you guys like who I am and what I like. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, oh well. Anyway, so 
So that's pretty much it for the look, I think. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I'm gonna do my um, lips too, and then we'll be done. So yeah. I sometimes go on a little bit of a rant and I forget what I'm talking about, but that's real life too, you know? <laughs> it is what it is. When you're doing a live video, I swear you totally forget like, wait, what was I gonna say? What am I doing? What's my next step? So when you're doing like a pre-recorded video, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you can just do your little clips and put it together and kind of make it work. But when you're live, this is real life. Everything you're witnessing is actually happening. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna do my lip conditioner first. This stuff is so awesome. I use it every day. Your makeup illiterate, Danielle. Oh my gosh. Yay, I'm glad that it helps you a little bit because girl, I am not perfect, but I honestly just have watched like a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of other people do videos and kind of pull in different tips and tricks that I feel like would work for me and just try different things and figure out kind of what works for my skin type and my face shape and my like skin tone and everything and you just make it work you know what I mean like trial and error like I've said before and I will say it a million times there are no rules absolutely none when it comes to makeup and if somebody tries to tell you there are there are rules they can kick rocks because um no you can do whatever you want to do and whatever you think is cute whatever makes you happy whatever floats your boat and uh that's that okay so now I'm going to do my lips. Like I said, I just put my lip conditioner on and now I'm going to do this lip liner in 204. I wish our lip, uh, Joe, you said this earlier. I wish our lip liners had like a name, but they're just numbers. So let's just make up the names. How about that, ladies? Hey, Christine. This is number 204 and I'm going to call it uh, Very Berry. <laughs> Okay, here we go. This is when we need the Jeopardy music. You got me? You got me? All right. I've said this before. I like to just line my lower lip pretty much like normal because I am okay with the size, I guess, of my lower lip. And then I go a little bit over the line of my top lip. I know. Should we create the names and send them in into the company? Like, here you go. We created these for you. They'd be like, uh, okay. <laughs> you guys, sorry, uh, side note. How many companies do you know that their CEO of the company literally goes on live and answers like all of their people's questions? Like our CEO is the bomb and he's super nice. Like I was watching a live the other day that he was on and he was like, you know, talking about all the stuff that's upcoming and answering questions. He literally just sat there and answered everybody's questions. It was really awesome. Okay. Thank you guys. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I wish we could play. Thank you, Christine. I kind of went crazy with it. I had a little bit of inspiration and I will show you the pictures um, in a little bit. Um, I am, I'm liking this look though. It's, it's called my fall date night look. Although I'm not going on a date. Are you guys laughing at me saying talk amongst yourselves? Because I'm laughing at myself. I literally crack myself up. Okay. Okay, so then I kind of just go like this. And I feel like if you have the lip moisturizer or the lip conditioner, I know it's not fall yet, okay? But... I know it's not fall yet, okay, but it's almost fall. 
and I'm ready for 2020 to be over, okay? So let's just move it along, people. Don't judge. And this is coming from me, somebody who literally hates winter. I'm just trying to move the year along. I want 2021 to be here. I've got things to do, people to see. No, he's, I don't think he's still watching. You guys are funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I am the lover of the summer. I don't have, you can't see my tattoo right now, but it's a sun. Nicole and I have the same tattoo because we're sun sisters. I literally love summer. 2020 has sucked. Oh, and if anybody saw my post yesterday, if 2020 didn't suck enough, I got summoned to jury duty. <laughs> go me, go me. Which normally I actually wouldn't mind. I've always wanted to do jury duty, which maybe sounds weird, but I'm like really into like crime stuff. I love crime shows. And so I've like always wanted to go to jury duty. But not during COVID, like, I, no. So I'm going to try to get out of it. Okay, my lip liner literally never takes me this long. I'm just talking too much, so I'm sorry. Just, just deal with it, okay? Okay. So there's the lip liner. It's going to be good enough. Yes, Nicole, you did tell me what to do. Maybe I'll just tell them I have explosive diarrhea and it's not going to work out. Who knows? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, so now I'm going to use 04. You got jury duty when you turned 18. That's kind of young. But at least it wasn't during COVID. Dang. Okay, so I'm using this Liquid Matte Lipstick 04. I'm literally cracking up that I just said that I had explosive diarrhea and that's why I can't do jury duty. <laughs> I don't have that, but I might use that as an excuse. Hey, Sarah, how are you doing, girl? Okay, this is really pretty color. I wish I knew the name of this, but I ripped off the label. <laughs> and yeah, I have lipstick on my teeth. It's okay. And if anyone is wondering, yes, I do have a stainless steel crown in the back of my mouth. And that's because I was born with a um, Te uh, tooth disease, I guess. And so all of my front teeth are not real. They're fake. And that's a story that we can go, go into a different day if you really want to know. I have no teeth on this side of my mouth. And I have only a few on this side because they're getting pulled. And I'm getting um, um, implants on top and bottom in the back. So I've gone through a lot of dental work over the last... Uh, over the last few years. Another reason why I was really nervous and embarrassed and scared to start doing videos um, because I was scared that people would judge me or be like, oh, what's wrong with her? Why did why like why does she have a metal tooth in her mouth? Like, you know, you all have self-doubt and self-hate and self-worries, you know. Um, but yeah, I was born, my my brother and I both have it. My dad had it. It's called, now it's called Dentin Imperfecta. Um, but we were born with a disease that causes your teeth to not make enamel. Um, and so our teeth were very brittle and very weak when we were kids. And um, they were very thin um, and kind of grayish looking. I got made fun of a lot when I was a kid. Um, it was really hard growing up with that. So. I don't want to cry because I just did my makeup, but um, thank you, Nicole. It's the truth. It is what it is. This is me. Um, I have a, I have a stainless steel crown in my mouth. It's going to be removed eventually, um, and my teeth are not real. But um, everyone 
has something. Everyone has a story. And so please be kind to people. You don't know what they've gone through. Like I literally have gone through a crazy amount of dental work and pain. And it's, I had 12 teeth pulled in the last couple years. Like all of these teeth had to be grinded down to little stubs in order to put on my new teeth. And thankfully I was able to get this dental work done, but um, it was really hard growing up, man. People made fun of my teeth. People made fun of like, oh, what's wrong with you? Like, why do your teeth look like that? Yeah, I would never, I literally never would smile showing my teeth. I would always smile like this. And it was, it was hard even now. Like I, it's so like weird and awkward for me sometimes to smile with my teeth because I'm so not used to it. Like I... I'm so used to just like smiling like this that smiling like showing my teeth is like so weird and uncomfortable and new for me that I'm like Ugh, like so sometimes I feel like I talk funny or I'm like being awkward with my mouth because I don't know what to do <laughs> um but thank you I appreciate you guys listening to me blab about that and it's just it is the truth that's who I am um I'm sure people will make fun of me and talk shit about my teeth Eventually, it is what it is, but this is me. Um, I'm not perfect, and I have to accept all of it. So, thank you for listening to that. Anyway, we're done with the look now. I'm going to put a little bit of my lip plumper on top to give it a little bit more of a glossy look. Thank you, guys. You're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It's not easy to talk about and I get kind of teary about it because honestly, um, my dad lost all of his teeth when he was 17 and had to get dentures and I don't talk to my dad right now, which is kind of sad. Um, that's another long story. Um, but yeah, I got it from him. My brother has it as well. He actually didn't have it as bad as I do. Um, but what really makes me sad is that my son has it, my oldest son. My youngest son, my baby, does not have it. It's just a genetic thing. Um, but now, um, with newer technology and new, you know, newer dentistry, um, they have you know, plans in place um, as to how to take care of it and deal with it. Um, so we, he's gonna have to, when I was um, three, I had all of my teeth stainless steel crowned, so I literally had a metal mouth. That's why kids were making fun of me. Then when my baby teeth fell out and my teeth came in, they were very thin and gray looking and not ideal, I guess. And so people made fun of me and whatever, the whole nine. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I get sad when I think about it because I know like what I went through as a kid with that. And so I worry about him having that, but I at least can be there and talk to him about it and let him know, like, it's okay. It's okay to have different th differences than other people. And it's okay to be different and be yourself. And I got you, boo. I got your back. So he will not have a full metal mouth. He will have um, some white crowns in front and then the stainless steel ones in the back. But anyway, if you're just hopping on, I'm rambling on about my teeth. <laughs> So anyway, this is the look I created. I'm going to spray it down with the Time Locker Spray. I appreciate you guys listening to me ramble on and get all teary-eyed about my life <laughs> and some of my insecurities and some of the stuff that I deal with. Um, but this is the look. I hope you guys like it. I'm going to finish it off with my accessory. Hold on. Because this is the fall date night look, although I'm not going on a date. Ain't nobody got nowhere to go. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, so this is my fall date night look. What do you guys think? Let me know. Leave comments if you're watching the replay. Hashtag replay. Um, this is it. I'm going on a date with myself. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for watching again. Um, if you have any questions, if you want to know anything more, please message me. Hey, <laughs> please.
please message me. Um, again, if you have any questions about the company, thank you guys. Um, please reach out. And again, if you, if you are struggling, if you are having a hard day, if you are going through your own issues, like you are not alone, I am always here. You can reach out to me. You can message me. I would be happy to, you know, be there for you and be a support system. So thank you again for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Bye.